Hi guys, it's Victor, and this is a solution for the problem lead code 5536, maximal network rank. Where the complexity of this problem is 1.5 out of 5, and its elegance is 4.5 out of 5. Before we start with the problem solution, it's important to make sure that you understand the problem statement correctly, as some intermediate coders sometimes solve the wrong problem. You are free to take a pause and read the problem statement yourself. OK, here is the rephrased problem. You have n cities and some roads between them. Select two cities so that the total number of roads they are attached to is maximal. Here is an example. The network rank of the pair of 1, 2 is 3. This is the number of roads connected to the city 1 or to the city 2, or both. The network rank of the pair of 0, 3 is 3 as well. The network rank of the pair of 1, 0 is 4. And this is a maximum network rank for the given input. Let's look at the second example. Let's take a pause and think of the two pairs of the cities so that the rank of the network is maximal. As you can see, the choice of the cities 1 and 2 is the optimal one, and the network rank in that case is 5. Now let's check the problem constraints. The number of cities is 100, which means the maximum possible number of roads is no more than 10,000. Let's take a pause and think why. On modern architectures, a cycle of 1 billion operations takes roughly one second of time to execute. For this problem, a solution with a number of operations of a square of the number of roads multiplied by some constant should pass. Great! Now you have everything to try to come up with a solution. Please take your third break and try to come up with one. Five minutes is a quite conservative time frame for that. Okay, as always, let's start with some guesses. What would be a way to estimate the network rank for a pair of two cities? A naive thought is to calculate the number of roads connected to the first city, calculate the number of roads connected to the second city, and then add those two numbers. This should work until there are two roads connecting two cities directly. In that case, the flashing road should be counted only once, and the network rank is 4. We can see now that the roads that are connected to both city 1 and city 2 at the same time should be counted only once. If city 1 has A roads connected, city 2 has B roads connected, and there are C roads connecting these cities directly, what would be the power of the network rank? Well, for this choice, the network rank is the number of roads connected to the first city, plus the number of the roads connected to the second city, and minus the number of roads that connect both cities. Or it is A plus B and minus C. In the problem statement, C could be at most one for all of the pairs. We're solving a more general problem here that allows more than one road between each pair of cities. The original problem would be a less general case for that. Let's say we can quickly, in constant time, get the number of roads attached to any city and also get the number of roads that connect two specific cities. If we had this information readily available, we could calculate the network rank with the above formula for all of the pairs in an inner cycle. This is what I mean. For all the pairs of cities, calculate the network rank. If the rank is greater than the maximum rank calculated before, remember the new rank and keep going. Return the maximum rank. Or in code, this would look like that. The question is how to get the array city size and common roads. We can get the city size by iterating through the source data and incrementing the number of roads connected to the corresponding cities for every road given. Common roads can be calculated in a similar way, with the exception that this is a two-dimensional array. Again, common roads stores the number of roads connecting any two cities, and it's a two-dimensional array. 
Now that we have all the parts of the solution, we can put them together. Take a pause and think of the elegance of this solution. The code works in square time of the number of cities. With our limits, it should execute for less than one ten thousand fraction of a second without initialization. Please subscribe if you want to hear analysis of other interesting programming problems. Be a stronger developer every day and good luck.